Hallo und herzlich willkommen zum heutigen Walk and Talk, das wir wieder mal nach innen verlegen mussten aufgrund des schlechten Wetters. Aber das tut dem ganzen Tag keinen Abbruch. Wir lernen heute trotzdem jemanden kennen. Und zwar Tyler Nelson. Welcome Tyler. Thank you. Genau, Tyler ist seit genau einem Jahr bei uns. Dementsprechend haben wir uns ihn eingeladen. Ein Jahr, in dem er quasi schon zwei Saisons anteilig gespielt hat. Und heute wollen wir ihn so ein bisschen ausquetschen, wie war das Jahr. Um, wie ist er zum Basketball gekommen? Wie ist sein, seine, um, seine Erfahrung jetzt hier drüben im, im Ausland? Um, was ist anders um, als in den USA? Und dann haben wir noch einen Haufen Fragen um, online von euch aus der Community bekommen. Die stellen wir natürlich auch gerne. I just told them you've been here for a year now. One year yeah. anniversary. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, thank you. That's, been a, that's been one year, but two seasons since mm -hmm. you came mid-season last year. And now it's mid-season. Uh, what's the difference between those two seasons so far? Yeah, I think they've been very different. Obviously, for me, coming here last year, um, really only for the last two months of the season, uh, it was a different situation. And then being able to come back this year, um, you know, I was coming to Rostock for the full season, you know, get here in August, prepare with the team. Um, I think that was a big difference for me, and I think that I really benefited from that. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, you know, paid off, and so far we've had a great season as a team. What made you come back? I mean, honestly, I really just like the city and, you know, we had some returning guys coming back again. I think we have seven or eight guys from the team last year, too. So I just thought it was a good opportunity to come back with some of the guys and have a chance to, you know, win Pro A. Okay. All right. Um, Rostock is your first overseas uh, club. How do you like the city and the club? Yeah, good Obviously, question. You, yeah. You, you, well, you like it. You yeah. wouldn't have come back then. But, uh. For sure. I mean, I was very surprised about Rostock when I first got here. I know, obviously, like coming from America, it's it's different in Europe, but I think the city is really nice. It's, you know, obviously a little bit smaller than some other big cities in Germany, but it really has everything that you could want. Um, and it does kind of have a little bit of an American vibe, especially the city area with the mall and all the food and the shops. So I think it was a pretty easy transition for me. So I like it. Is that similar to, to the city you grew up in? Or? Um, I mean, I grew up about 45 minutes um, near Boston, Massachusetts, okay. which is a big city itself. Obviously, it's bigger than Rostock, but I mean, it kind of has the same vibe, the city feel. We talked about US and Germany. What's the biggest difference between um, the US basketball college or NBA and the European overseas basketball? <laughs> yeah, there's a good amount of differences. I think, um, you know, back home, It's obviously a longer game. It's 48 minutes, um, and the style of play is a little bit different. It's more offensive-oriented, get a lot of shots up. Mm -hmm. um, I think in Europe, um, it's way more team-oriented, and you know, it's more about playing together as a team and trying to find ways to win games. So, I mean, I like both styles of play. I think they fit me well, but I definitely am having a lot of fun this year with the style that we've played, and uh, you know, we've been winning games, so it's been fun. And you can tell you, you guys are a team. Yeah. I mean, there's no one that like stands out that's the top player, the star of the team. You're, the team is the star. Mm -hmm. Would you agree? Yeah, definitely. I mean, like I said the other day to some of the guys, like every day someone else steps up and has a big game or is the top scorer or something like that. So as long as we continue to do that and we win, I think that's the most important thing. I think everybody would agree. All right. Um, do you have a favorite NBA team? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, growing up in Massachusetts, I know Celtics are a famous NBA team, so I've always followed them. But I follow a lot of different teams. I'm lucky enough to have a few friends that play in the NBA right now, so I try and follow them as, as much as possible. But yeah, I would say Boston is my is my team, the Celtics. There's a lot of sports going on in Boston, right? Red yeah, Sox yeah. and Patriots. And yeah, it's a huge, huge sports city. So we have NFL, Patriots, the Celtics, the Red Sox, baseball. So we have everything. Do you follow that as well? Or yeah, I follow football pretty good for being a Patriots fan. I think if you grow up where I'm from, you, you kind of have to follow the NFL and the Patriots. So yeah, for sure. So did you get to watch the playoffs? I did. Okay. Unfortunately, we lost, but you know, still rooting for Tom Brady, even though he's in Tampa. All right. A lot of people do that. You yeah. Know, from Boston, right? Yeah. I mean, we had him for 20 years, so you kind of... Kind of have to, to make follow. The Patriots what they are yeah, right now, right? for sure. Okay. Um, are you learning any German? Was a fan question that came in since you've been here, well, almost almost a year. Uh, are you learning German or just? I've tried to learn a little bit here and there. I can say a few few things, but I can't have a full conversation. But you know, Danka and the basic stuff, I, I try and I try and learn as much as I can, just so I can. Have a little bit, but definitely do not speak German. So, what's your favorite German word? Uh, probably wie geht's. Wie geht's? Yeah. Uh, alles gut, alles klar. 
okay. stuff like that, just the basic stuff. What if someone answers when you ask him Basket? <laughs> or when you when you tell him Basket and, and he answers, yeah, ja, ziemlich gut, aber weißt du was? Ich habe da seit Tagen Bauchproblem. Oh, I would just be, I would just be like, I would be like, yeah, all is good. No, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Something Talk like that. Doctor. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, Growing up in uh, Massachusetts, um, your dad is um, connected to the NBA, to basketball. He's a scout with the uh, 76ers. Um, was he a um, main factor that you become a basketball athlete or how did you get to play basketball? Yeah, I think so. You know, growing up with my dad being a coach and loving basketball himself. Um, obviously, when I was younger, it was my first sport I got into um, and having him as my coach all the way up till high school. Oh, he um, coached yeah, you pretty way. much. Coach, yeah, oh. and up until high school in America, um, that definitely helped me a lot because you know obviously he knows basketball and I think that you know really helped me and I just kind of fell in love with it myself and you know I didn't know that I would be able to be a professional basketball whether it be in America or in Europe one day but you know I went to college for it and I think yeah it was definitely a cool experience and I'm happy to be here. So did you get some extra lessons, extra training yeah. after? Yeah, training? definitely. Yeah. Um, definitely helps having a dad who's a coach and has played the game and coached at a high level, and so for sure. So did you guys um, practice your three-point shooting? Yeah, definitely. He's, uh, he does a lot of teaching uh, shooting himself, so I definitely learned a lot from him when I was younger. So yeah, for sure. Okay, so that's where it came from. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. All right. Before you're going home in the off-season, um, we still have a season to play, though. Yeah. Uh, what's your plan for the season? Obviously, you know, right now, you know, we're on top of the league and the important thing is to, you know, take it one week at a time, one game at a time and, you know, just try and continue to win. And our goal as a team is to play our best basketball once playoffs start. So that's really what we're focused on right now. So would you agree that we are continuing to, to get better and better from, from game to game? Now yeah, season? for sure. I mean, we've every week, every practice, we've tried to get better. And, you know, our, fo our focus is, you know, one game, one practice at a time. And I think that, you know, we keep playing the way we are and you know, we keep getting better as the season goes on. I think we'll have a good opportunity to, you know, be in the playoffs and have a chance to, you know, win the league, which is our goal. Mm -hmm. We had a um, huge winning streak last year, 11 games in a row. Then we lost a game, uh, uh, I think it was uh, Christmas Day, 20, 26th, yeah. out in Karlsruhe. And then when there were two games, we still won, but they weren't quite the same like the games before. Is that mm -hmm. is, is, um, the way to the top a little harder now? Or? Yeah, I mean, for sure, as you know, you're not going to win every game. You know, this, even this year, we won 11 games in a row and then we had lost one. But I think, you know, our focus was not to get down or be frustrated about it because, you know, there's so many games. It's such a long season. And you um, still learn from it. Yeah, from yeah, we, we still learn from it a, a lot. You know, we're still at the top of the league, which is important. So I think, like I said, our, our focus is just to take it one game at a time. Mm. So we're not going to talk about uh, first league here? <laughs> nah, not yet, okay. not yet. So I'll see you in two months now. <laughs> then we talk about it then. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, what about the food? Any, any uh, recommendations in Rostock? The what's food in Rostock? What's your favorite place to go? Uh, that's a good question. Obviously, you know, with uh, Lunchbox as being one of our sponsors, we go there a lot. They have great food. Um, same with Portola, mm -hmm. um, also great. So those are kind of the two most ones that we go to because obviously they are a sponsor, but there's a lot of good other food places in the city. So. And it's all in walking distance, right? Yeah, for sure. You yeah. mm -hmm. Since you found a great spot to park. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, you're one of the leading three-pointers um, of the league right now. Um, is that always a thing that was your, your strongest skill or did that just improve in the last couple of years? Yeah, I think shooting has always been my best skill. Um, but yeah, it's really... This year I think it's been good because the style that we play um, and you know the way we share the ball and play together, I think I've really benefited from that and have had a lot of opportunities to make shots and especially three-pointers. So I think, How yeah. did you find out that three-pointers is, is <laughs> your thing? I mean, ever since I was you know, a kid playing, I knew that you know, my best skill was, was shooting. So I just tried to get better at it every day and every year. And, and that's really, I learned right away that that was what I was going to be. All right. Uh, one of the guys of the community wants to know if you have any tips or tricks um, on how to become a great distance shooter. Yeah, no, that's a good question. Um, honestly, it's just about practice and getting practice, repetition. Practice, you know, practice. the more the more you shoot, the more comfortable you'll get. And you know, once you get more comfortable shooting, then the ball will start going in. But there's no secret formula or mechanics or anything like that that some people think that is if you do it this way, then you'll make every shot. It doesn't work like that. It's really just about 
getting shots up and repetitions and a lot of practice. And how do you practice? I mean, how every, do you practice your shooting? Yeah, I mean, every day I try and get up at least a couple hundred shots. Really? Um, yeah, usually if, during practice, after practice. Um, it just depends. Obviously, there's some days when you can't, whether you be traveling or whatever, but I try and get up as much shots as, as I can to be comfortable so I know that I put the work in, and then when the game starts, I have confidence that I'll make them. All right. Well, yeah. I heard a rumor that you made 100 out of 112. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. Yeah, that was a, In practice I, here? yeah, that was a while ago. I think it was, yeah, I don't know the exact number, but it was 100. Or, yeah, maybe it was 100, 112, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Close. Do you have a three pointers career high or any records so far, high school or college wise? Um, I think in this tough. I think in high school I might have hit eight eight three pointers in a game. College I might have hit seven or eight. I don't remember exactly. And I think this year I've I hit six a couple times this year already. Mm -hmm. Maybe so. That's from what I remember. Yeah. yeah if you keep doing yeah. that, you could become <laughs> one of the well the best three point shooter in the league right now. You're your yeah. top three, I guess, right now. Sounds so, good. Yeah. Um, who's the best NBA three point shooter? Well, next to Curry, what do you think? Yeah, obviously it's it's Steph Curry, but. Before that, Ray Allen, I grew up obviously being in Boston and he played for the Celtics, so he's a great shooter. But right now, I mean, it's tough to say. When Klay Thompson is healthy, I think he's probably the second best pure shooter in the NBA, but obviously he's been injured, so there's been a lot of different guys, but I'd probably give it to Klay Thompson still. Really? Yeah. What do you think about his coming? I think he looks good. He's healthy. It's, it's fun for the Warriors fans, and I think he's playing pretty good already, so. Okay. Interesting question that came in. Um, if you could magically improve one of your game skills um, to a 99 NBA 2K rate, what skill would that be? I mean, I'd still have to say shooting. Um, even though it's probably my best skill, I would, you know, if you could have a 99% shooting rate, and I mean, <laughs> that would be fun. You wouldn't miss many shots, so right. that's probably the best one. Do you play NBA 2K? I don't. I'm not, don't. I'm not a big video game person, so okay. I don't really Gabby play that is. much. Yeah, he is, for <laughs> sure. A lot of guys are. Okay. Yeah. So if they meet up for, for NBA 2K, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm ready to go have some I'll, food. Yeah, I'll watch and hang out, but I won't be playing. Okay. Um, we talked about food. Uh, do you cook? I do. I've started to cook a lot more, especially this year being back in Europe. Mm. Um, so I've been cooking a little bit, yeah. All right. What's your best dish? That's tough. I, would, I wouldn't say I'm a good cook. Uh, I can make a few things, but I kind of stick to pasta, sometimes some vegetables, um, chicken, just basic stuff like that. I make, I make one dish. It's called, in America, it's called chicken parm. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like schnitzel, like breaded chicken uh, cooked in the oven or on the grill, and then with some pasta and some sauce, something like that. So that's really the, the most popular thing I cook. That sounds good. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, uh, and what's your favorite dish? Um, it depends, honestly. Um, favorite dish that I cook? I don't favorite know. Favorite dish that you like to eat? Probably that. Probably chicken parm. Oh, really? yeah. Do you like fish? I do like fish, yeah. Have you tried some local fish here? I did try the, what is it called, fish bro brochen? Like the fish. fish brochen, yeah, yeah. yeah that they, I guess it's known for, right? they sell right here on the water. I've yeah. had that a few times. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. all right. Um, last question for today. As well, out from the community, um, a question about clubbing. Have you been going out in Russia? <laughs> Have you been clubbing? I mean, obviously, we haven't gone out as much because of COVID. Mm -hmm. um, but beginning of the year, when things were a little more relaxed, we've gone out a few times as a team, do, do some fun things, but not a lot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you know the clubs that we yeah. have here in Russia? Yeah, there's a few. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Yeah. Danke fürs Zuschauen. Ich hoffe, ihr hattet genauso viel Spaß wie wir und ähm, kennt euch jetzt ein bisschen besser aus in Tyler Nelsons Leben. Ja, wir freuen, euch, äh, wir freuen euch, wir freuen uns schon aufs nächste Mal und schaltet wieder ein, wenn es heißt Walk and Talk mit den Rostock Seawolves. Bis bald. <lacht>